Hello, everybody, and welcome back to West of Lothen. My name is Stealing33, and today, uh, I just can't get enough of this game. I'm like, like, I'm like tempted to make a second save file for myself, but I don't want to do that and then like do stuff we haven't done yet and spoil it for myself. Um, yeah, so let's, let's go to the Coal Ridge Mine, get ourselves going here. I grinded a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit, um... And, uh, basically, it, uh, amounted to, uh, Alice is a little bit stronger now. I've got decent stats. A lot of these stats are the same as they were, but we have level 6 of Tough Customer, which makes us pr hit pretty decently hard. Level 4 of Bull Stomp, uh, level 3 of Beef Up, and I got 2 of Haymaker and the old 1, 2, 3, which, uh, are both pretty strong. Um, but, uh, I didn't grind for very long, um, and a lot of it was just spent, like, doing nothing, basically. Up in the first locker, we got Ellsbury's helmet and a bottle of Ladonum. What else we got here? We got a second locker. I open the door to reveal a skeleton covered in the same white goo that is on the outside of the locker. Ah, you get it. This guy must have died for after his co-workers played a prank on him where they stuffed him into his locker then filled it with shaving cream. I can't believe you dang jerk stuffed me into a locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I died from that, yells the skeleton, confirming both your inside and your vengeful murderous intent. Alright, fuck him up. Uh, as you guys will see, so this guy's got, what, 84 HP? This now does 99 to 108. Yeah, we uh, we hit like a fucking truck right now. Um, it's kind of crazy, to be honest. Um, Alice is also much stronger than she was before. Um, in that she basically just she hits a lot harder and her she heals. <coughs> Ooh, we have a rope. We got that during um <coughs> a random event in the last episode. From what I remember, Jesus Christ. I got something in my throat. Huh. Dig with a shovel. Got Curly Compass. Uh, this was Curly Butterfield's compass, but uh, d that dude must have been always been lost because this thing points every which way but north. Alright, well, what does that mean? Uh, where's this compass? No, I don't want to find new value. I want to find new. Curly's compass. Examine it. Generally northwestish. Alright. Must be like Jack Sparrow's compass, where it like is pointing towards something. They mine up some more meat nuggets, get some more XP. Basically, just free XP and a bunch of other garbage. It's an unrefined meat nugget. Got some more meat. Take the fluid. All right. Do that shit. We're about the still beating heart of the mountain here. Do that. Take this dude's pickaxe. Fabulous. Um, yeah, Jesus, we got a lot of money there. This place was just a fucking crazy. What's this give us? Plus two armor? What's this give us? Plus four moxie. I think I'd rather have the stats. The moxie will protect us from bullets, which is what I'm really concerned about more than anything. Um, let's go generally northwest-ish. Uh, this is northeast-ish, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it is. A stanko bow. A cow skull floating in a cloud of noxious vapors. Let's fucking fight it. This guy wants to go? I'll show you. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I, uh, we're real strong. Still not strong enough to fight those, uh... Them there, uh, fucking... Goblins, though. More or less straight west. Well, let's wander it a little bit. Maybe we'll bump into something. Uh, a loud thwack noise draws your attention, and you follow the sound of a man in a once white apron who is butchering a big horned sheep or some other large desert animal with an oversized and heavy looking meat cleaver. He's hauling the implements up into his shoulder for another blow. He catches you. Who's there? Don't test me, boy. I'll chop you up like a goat or whatever. Um. Te te fucking test him. Let's test him. Test him with the fucking murderer's ass. <laughs> Get out of here. Bloodied cleaver, huh? Got a new weapon. Got some old meat. Anything cool about that? Let's go back. Let's go back to Gustafson Gulch. Maybe we're tanky enough to, like, hand or, handle it. Howdy there. I'm wandering Sally. Well, howdy, Sally. I'm Steel. What's your line? Uh, trading. I wander all around these lands just like it says on my label. Buy a little here and there and sell a little there to make a little... Wait, wait. Can you see more? Where's your thing? What you got for us, Sally? She's got apple fungicide bomb. Kills a lot of gob... 
Can kill a lot of goblins at once, but it takes a while. All right, buy that, buy both of those needles, definitely. Working boots, plus one, a uh, maximum AP, plus one armor, might be interesting. Item goes on our lapel for all stats up, buy that, definitely. Um, I don't want to sell her the fucking, what's it called? These things, the, the necromancy books, just in case we end up wanting to use them at some point. Um, not that like, not, not, not like so sold on that right now, but like perhaps at some point. Sell her some meat nuggets. There you go. What else we got in here? Uh, snake liver. Nah. Nope. No nerve pills, huh? Nope. Uh, I can sell her the skull chips, I guess. And uh, we're good. Cool. All right. Uh, let's buy these work boots because they are better than the boots I'm currently wearing. I think we're good. Alrighty. See you later, Sally. Uh, Wandering Sally's camp hanging out right there. Cool. Uh, now that we got this bomb, let's go back to the Guf the Gustafson Gulch. Beat the shit out of this. What is this? That's a weak bitch. Get out of here. I probably could have killed him with a regular hit, to be honest. Got some El, El Vibrato uh, scraps. Scraps? 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 Said, uh, that bomb did say that it would take a little bit for, um, for, uh, to kill these guys. Fight them. Fuck it. Let's go. Uh, why don't I have that bomb down here? That is weird. Uh, are there any of these guys that I can wipe out immediately? Let's wipe this guy out. Because I can survive hits from the rest of them, I think. So can Sally, apparently. Hot damage seems to be pretty decent. Both up with our eight extra whatever. Whack! You heal yourself, Sally. The 35. Yeah, Sally got a lot. Or Alice. Fucks up with me. Um, Alice got a lot stronger. Um, we went to the Dave Yard and killed a couple of those Skelemans a little bit. And uh, got a lot stronger between episodes here. One HP hot damage. Looks like we're gonna have to rely on Sally a little bit here. I can hit him with a pistol attack, I guess. I guess it's better than better than doing one hot damage turn. Uh, I mean, I guess we could also shoot him with the poison bullet. There you go. Uh, we'll shoot him again. That's not, I didn't mean to do that, but that's all right. Boop. And... Cool. Perfect. Easy. What do we got? We won! Guess those goblins should have spent less time standing around here, more time standing around somewhere else that you didn't want to loot. Cool. What else we got in here? Consume a needle for some meat. More meat? Fucking lord, that's a lot of meat. Year supply of dynamite. And a goblin engagement ring with a goblin tiara. Uh, plus two armor, minus two moxie. Plus five spell damage, minus three pistol attack damage. Year supply of dynamite. Fabulous. Let's go ahead and equip that. Got anything else cool that we can equip? The Red Hot Poker is real good. This does more damage though and increases our muscle. Perhaps that might be better. We'll hold on to the Red Hot Poker though, because being able to do other forms of damage that aren't physical might actually be a fair bit decent there. And awesome. I also got enough fucking meat to buy Dave's supply of dynamite as well. But let's uh go back to the railroad cramp there. Go ahead and turn this in here. Hello! Yep, there you go. Good, perfect. This will do the trick just fine. Hang back a bit while I get the fellows to set up the charges and then I'll do the let you do the honors. So me consults with the other workers and they inspect the rocks for some time. Eventually, one of them shrugs and pushes the whole crate of dynamite up next to the rocks and wires up the detonator. 
Uh, wait, don't you have a longer detonation cable? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give me a three count before you hit the plunger so I'll have time to uh, get under the train. Great, cool. The Bluey! Holy hell, what the hell's that? Uh, there's a very large, very angry looking thing. Guy standing here, apparently a little peeved at getting a year supply of dynamite blowing up next to its butt while it's sleeping. Uh, fucking, we can just pulverize it? Fuck that, do that. You crack your knuckles, take a deep breath, and aim your strongest haymaker at the rock monster. The punch blows a fr up a fracture caused by the dynamite, cascade fault lines crisscross the creature's surface. With a roar of anger and pain, it explodes into the finest of gravel. Heck yeah, welcome to the gun show. All in the day's work. Correct, nerd. <laughs> well now, uh, this is a fine day's work as I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. And we get the rest of the track laid down and head out. Here, I'll mark any route for the map for you. In case your path happens to cross again. Manifest Destiny Railroad Company Camp. Thanks, but can't I just ride the train? Got a ticket? Ha! Just kidding. Of course you don't. Receipt the train sold out. Sorry, boss. Alright. Well, see you later. The remains of your triumph over that crazy rock pile guy. Well, fabulous. Ah, well, that's a fun time. Alright, cool. Uh, let's ask Atlas what the hell we should be doing. I know that there's other things that I should be doing. I just don't remember what they are. Atlas! Uh, am I forgetting about anything? Alice says you should take the saltpeter of the chef at dirt water. That's a good one. Uh, what else? What else should I do? Am I forgetting anything? Alice says you gotta deal with the millinery bandits. That's right. Alright, I'll ask her another suggestion. Alex says you told the press spring in five chunks. Anything else? Uh, saltpeter. Cool. Thank you. Right, well, let's go do the saltpeter before I forget about that, because God knows I'm gonna forget about that. Dang, horse threw a rod and fell off. Alice, fix him. Thank you. All right, we saw that one before as well. Wonder if it's the same guy. Probably not, right? Right. Uh, let's go ahead and get us some intimidating and some forager in, uh, foraging. Uh, we bumped into a couple instances where I was supposed to be able to do that and uh, didn't have the gumption for it. Let's go ahead and turn this thing in here. Yep. All right. Next thing I need is some kind of hot pepper. It's called a murder pepper because it's, it's spicy. Well, because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask dumb questions. They go in the area outside of town. Go outside and wander around. You should be able to find it. Uh, you catch a whiff of something that makes your eyes water and trace it to a source of vivid the covered red pepper. Red shape hanging from a scraggly little plant. Grab it. Cool. Southwest murder pepper. Er, murder? Murder pepper. Hello! There you go. Uh, okay, if you're still looking for stuff to do, I need someone to go check my mail. Order this new saute knife. I haven't gotten a chance to fetch it. Oh, that's good. Oh, I sent that postcard. I wonder if that ever... Something ever came of that. Let's find out. There's the post office right at. Open up box 41441. And we'll talk to this guy. Hey, I got a package from Rufus. What's in it? Open. Advanced cow punching. <laughs> Jeez, you really missed that, kid. You missed your parents. Get all nostalgic just thinking about it. Nostalgia mode unlocked. Oh, we're going to leave it in nostalgia mode for a little while. Thank God, it was starting to get... It's, like, real bright with that all-white on my eyes. Um, we can get gore, thick skin, or moo. We're gonna get gore. I prefer offensive techniques to defensive techniques, just because, like, in general, I'm finding that, uh... Defensive techniques aren't really worth it too often. I'm gonna buy up all this dynamite while we're here. Tooth powder. Can of oil, some disposable not binoculars. Buy that. I'll buy those two. I got plenty of money. Might as well stock up on some consumable goods here. Later, Bill. I like that the nostalgia mode's kind of nice. It, it's it's a lot darker. I can, I can feel my eyes, like, relaxing a little bit. Yep, there you go. Uh, okay, I only need one more favor for you, but it's the most important. I used to have the recipe for a very secret jerk sauce, but my friend Dave J stole it from me, and then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally, I mean, he was buried with it. I'm gonna go dig up his grave. He's dead. He won't mind. All right. Must be at the Dave Yard. I'm gonna go ahead and assume he's at the Dave Yard. Got some cheap whiskey. Cool. All right, where's this Dave J? There's Dave J. Dig up the grave and pry up the coffin. It's the course, there's a garbage bag. Reach inside the garbage bag and surprised to find it's full of pudding. No, not it's not just pudding. It's pudding and motor oil. Who would do this? Dave's secret recipe sauce. Just combine these ingredients in a small power stir and abracadabra wrap up a pow! Alright, cool. 
Cool. All right. Let's get back to town then. If you guys don't like the nostalgia mode, let me know. I'll I'll turn it off. I don't mind. Um, these videos are going to be coming out kind of fast and loose over the next couple days because I've recorded like four of them today. And I'm having a great time. Don't get me wrong. I just really like this game. Cool. Got a sloppy cowboy hat. What does that do? Plus three muscle. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do that. Fucking do it. Very, uh, we've become a chef. Cool. Um, and then we needed to go to the old millinery. I think I have an extra needle, so hopefully I'll be able to open up the door and maybe allow myself to just bypass the puzzles that are associated with this. I mean, I could just kill all of them, guy. Like, right, this case, so it's this guy. I, w I really wish it wouldn't send me outside every time. One of these wiggles, right? That one. And then the third room. Maybe if I like look at all of them. Why does it sound like a drink? Someone's drinking. Yeah, it sounds like someone's drinking. I'm trying to figure out like what, because they all look the same. Jacques. I don't like that. Why can't I just like throw dynamite at them? Blow the whole room to hell. We'll just wait, see maybe maybe one of them moves eventually or something, or gets fed up. Something. Given the quality of the one line is around here, you don't need multiple. Interesting. Because all these hats look the same to me. I don't I don't understand this puzzle. This is a Cotton Eye Joe, isn't it? It's totally Cotton Eye Joe. Is there maybe like... Maybe it has something to do with the music. Maybe I have to like play a certain song. Fuck it, let's do the other, three, other rooms. What the fuck's this? That one's got a sleeping dude in it. There we go. <clears throat> Interesting. Like, what's the deal here? Like, I can't believe that, I can't believe that, like, I just have to guess, right? Like, that doesn't feel right. I guess we'll, we'll upgrade something while we're sitting here for a hot second. Um, let's do this. I want more gumption so I can get more speed so people stop out speeding me and maybe I can just, like, wipe one of them out immediately. What is the, what what do I do in this room? Cuz it's like these two rooms, right? Like This hat looks different than the other ones, I guess. 
Uh, okay, there we go. Right, so maybe that's the key for this one. One of these hats looks different than the others. It's got something to do with the brim, maybe, because I'm in the brim room. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to fuck it up, because I'll have to do the other rooms again. I guess I know the key to the other rooms, right? Like... I'm just having, like, I'm having such a hard time with this. Uh... Fuck it. Fuck it. Maybe we'll just get lucky and we'll just guess. Here's this one. Let's do that one. Fuck it. Fire. Oh, God, it was that one. <laughs> what? How? How? Uh, travel the dirt water. Yeah, I found them. There you go. Um. Is there other shit I should be doing? There's one last one. What is this? Uh, the Gurkin Brothers for kidnapping, brain, brain and kidnapping victims and attempting the sale of human flesh for consumption. Last seen in the abandoned pickle factory. Can't let these dashly couples escape justice. It wouldn't be kosher. Alright, cool. Let's go. Let's go. And then we'll go check out that circus. I don't want to go west of the mountains yet, because, um... Uh, a burly grizzled man in leather... Well, everything is peeling the skin off of a no longer recognizable animal. Looks up to you and growls, brandishing his skinny knife as if he's saying, Bother me and you'll be next. Uh, show him my skinny knife. Don't be stupid. They're both knives. So you're a skinner too, eh? Well, not professional or anything. It's a hobby, I guess. Alright, come over here and watch closely. I'll show you a couple tricks. Um, you don't really understand the tricks, but they result in you getting some free skin, so you're happy. Got electric snake skin and infernal leather. Ooh. Cool. That's kind of fun. Oh, this place is fucking scary, isn't it? Haunted Pickle Factory. You feel a sudden electrical jolt as your hand touches the doorknob. Oh no, you're late for your shift. Mrs. Vlas is going to be so mad. She might literally bite your head off. Okay, well, not literally, literally, probably. Clock in and hurriedly. And again, you better stop taking this job for granted. You think you're going to find a place with a nice dormitory and a reasonably priced company store like ours somewhere else? With your skills? Ha! You're doing three shifts today, Buster. Get to work, and you're and you're on pickle hopper. Start shift. Pickle hopper duty runs you ragged, like always. Keep the hoppers filled. The constant flow down the chutes means that you're constantly in a near sprint, because you have to manage the shunt, the chuk shunts, uh, to keep the levels equal. If you get an uneven pickle level, Mrs. Blast knows. Nobody knows how she knows, but she knows. A whack on a cane is minimum you'll get. Damn it, damn it, damn it. And the first hour shift, in a brief break, cram stale cheese sandwich into your mouth while Mrs. Blast. Glares at you. Got her pocket watch counting down three minutes to a second. Breaks over second shift. You get go, you go get over to the salt tank now. Managing the salt tank isn't as strenuous as the pickle hopper, but it's never ending tension. The brine concentration has to be constantly monitored to keep it at a very specific measurement, which means constant adjustments. Meanwhile, you can feel yourself desiccating from the haze of salt dust filled in the room. If anything in this place kills you, it'll probably be the salt tank. Du salt tank duty. White lung is nasty business. Cough in your own time. Get the salinity back to normal. It's supposed to be at 976 parts per thousand. 976. Get another 180 seconds. 976. I feel like I should write that down. It's an oddly specific number. Uh, do I have a pen? No, oh, I don't have a pen. Well, uh, that's not great. I need to jot that one down on my phone then. 976. That number is just oddly specific. So, 976. Okay, cool. Boiler duty means shoveling coal into a furnace, the furnace that runs a giant tank of boiling vinegar. It stings in here, or it stings in here, you try to work with your eyes closed, but Mrs. Blast screams at you if you drop any coal on the floor, or if you let the temperature get too low or too high, or just for no particular reason. Uh, 189. 189. 191. Oh, okay. So, no, 190 degrees. 190 degrees. Okay. Cool. Enter the pickle factory. Uh, I guess we'll start with the chukes. So, these all need to be even, from what I understand. The easiest way to do these kinds of puzzles is to try to, like, 
get all of them about as high as possible. And then basically, like... 11, 10... 10, 11... This should be 12 now. Fuck. Reset it. Overshoot it by a lot. 5, 6. Okay, so let's go... Fuck that one up. 11, 11, 11. Easy. Uh, you all right there, partner? Can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep. Yikes. Uh, it's okay. I took care of the cucumbers. The ghost smiles as he, uh, the ghost smiles as he fades away. A few bones hit the ground below. Rest in peace, poor guy. All right. Gonna go ahead and assume that that's the last that remains of these boys. Uh, we got the salt level. Currently needs 531 parts per million. Okay, so 976. 976. Um, the salt is correct. Cool. Easy. Okay. And then what's this one? Currently says 93 degrees. Um, take the shovel. Uh, so it says 993 degrees. You need to get to 190. What did that do? That brought it up by 6. Get it up by like that much. Fifty degrees. Thirty-eight degrees. Thirty-six degrees, huh? Five degrees. It's too much. Okay. Okay. Still too much. God damn it. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Uh, I do that. Then that. No, okay, too, too low. Fucking release all the steam. 70 degrees. Okay, so if I put two bits of coal, it goes up by fucking four? What? Hold on a minute. I think I hate this. Okay, so that was eight. Eight degrees again for 151. Nine degrees that time. Nine degrees again. Five. Five. There we go, 190. I did it. Okay, right, cool. Uh, cool. There you go. Vinegar is at 190 degrees. Let's throw this switch too and see what happens. Pull it. Got three ghost pickles. Fabulous. All right, cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. This place is scary and I don't like it. Um, but I think that's the end of the wanted posters. I think. Don't actually write one no, to be honest. Nothing happened, really? Wow. Literally this whole time, every time we've gone anywhere, something's happened. But we're starting to not have any random events occur on this side of the mountain here. All right, sorry. Here you go. There were those. The bones are twitching still. Aw, oh, she locked up the ghosts. <laughs> I almost saved everyone's life. Almost. Oh, hey, hot dogs. Howdy, Doug. Well, if it isn't my savior, good old steel. Howdy yourself. Sign outside. Yeah, I had to change the name. Try to file a trademark, and it turns out that there's already something called a hot dog. What is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. 
Anyway, a single letter removed, now I'm in business. What I got here? Ooh, these are decent. I will buy one of each. In case we need a quick boost in our stats for some reason. Let's skate away here. Skate away, skate away. All right, cool. Uh, let's ask Alice if there's anything I'm forgetting about, and then if there isn't, we'll go to the circus. Um, anything I'm forgetting about? Uh, we had to get the professor some El Vibrato stuff. Anything else? And you that the old nun in the old mission above the submission catacombs still needs help. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Let's go do the the catacombs. Let's comb our comb our horse a little bit. Saddle up. Let's go do the catacombs in the old mission. I think we're strong enough now where I'm probably not going to get my ass kicked by these things anymore. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully uh, that's the, the case here. Anything in here? Nope. Bunch of skulls, huh? Fuck them. Kick them. What do we got here? 12 damage, huh? 12 damage to everything. Or 30 to a row of dudes. Alright. Oh yeah, we're taking way less damage now. Hell yeah. Cow stomp. Shotgun. Yeah, we're taking way less damage. There we go. Get out of here. Dirtbag skulls. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Why are you being a dick? You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, cool. Much better. Look underside, souvenir spoon. Let's go worshipers at you, and it doesn't seem right. Sounds like gibberish, though really creepy gibberish. It's an empty alcove. There's a little serial number written below it. Oh, hey, this is where the skull you found goes. Put it back. Ah, right, cool. Uh, pick it apart. Creepy whispering stone. Weird. Fight this guy. What the hell is going on here? I'm, uh, I'm uncomfortable with this. Let's go ahead and put you to sleep. Some skeletal bones. What's that? Oh, I want to read what that says. This way to the Paseo del Santo. This is a plaque. Here lies Saint Beefus. After he died, his body kept trying to rise to heaven, but it was so heavy it just kind of flopped around a bunch. They had to enter him in a big stone sarcophagus to step put it to make it stop. All right, fuck it. You grunt, strain, and force the heavy stone sarcophagus open. There's a skeleton inside. Holy crap, his bones are huge! Fortunately, he appears to be asleep. Wake him up. Holy crap! Uh, will this work? No, right? Like... Holy shit, it worked! <laughs> uh, St. Beefus' finger and St. Beefus' thigh. Ugh. What we got here? Uh, oh, hell yeah, let's equip that. That sounds dope. What is this? So big that he had more bones in his little finger than most people have in their entire arm. Look at this shit. Plus two muscle, plus ten max HP. Oof. Oh, it's a hard sell. We do slightly more damage with the thigh bone, though. Kind of reminds me of the Dark Ritual. This stuff looks like it was abandoned weeks ago. Interesting. Uh, the sand appears to be resting in pieces. Oh, you're pretty sure you've got the bones assembled correctly. All right, fight them. Nope. Very last minute, the bones fly apart again. It seems like they, all you accomplished in was making them angry. Uh, yeah, all right. How about take a cow stomp and take a shotgun? Interesting. Okay, so each part of it does something. Well, it's going to be dead in a hot second here. There we go. There we go. Get out of here. That's a fun boss fight. St. Cordata's skull. St. Cordata's ring. Interesting. What's the skull do? Uh, skull had a real on-again, off-again relationship with the real rest of Santa are down on the skull. Plus two miscality, plus two speed, huh? Might be interesting. Hold on to it for now. Uh, here lies Santa Corta uh, Cortada. He, uh, she was drawn and quartered by heretics, and then the quarter that had her head on it was beheaded. The dismemberment was so effective that nobody was able to get her body to stay together even after she was just bones. Spooky. No, I don't want to do that yet. Let's read about it. Here lies St. Pope. He was excommunicated for impersonating a pope. 
there was some kind of bureaucratic, bureaucratic issue, so they weren't able to unbeat, uh, unbeatify him. St. Pope stands uh, beatifically behind the dais. He just keeps doing his Pope gestures, ignoring you. How can someone look so smug without even having a face? The longer you watch, the more he gets on your nerves. Fuck him up. Uh, you unleash a torrent of insults that would make a sailor blush, and the sailor's mother ashamed of a sailor. St. Pope, near eyes narrow, looks at you, finally managed to make him mad enough to fight you. Fight him, then. Normally, I wouldn't fight a Pope, but fuck this guy. <laughs> I got the Pope's Pelv and a fake Pope hat. I mean, like, here's the thing. We're wearing the Pope hat. I am the freaking Pope! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Look at me riding my lantern. I am the Pope. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. What up? Pope rolling into action. Um, oh, don't worry about that. We're just sorting for a, storing it for an escape artist. Yeah, he's taking his act on the road and needed to lighten his luggage, so we gave him a generous donation in exchange for storing it for him. Oh, okay. That there. Perfect. There you go. I got kneeling pants. Plus three muscle. Hell yeah. Cool. All right. With that. Pew. 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 <laughs> All right. Cool. Is there anything else you need help with, lady? Cool. I got a, a blessing upon me. Sweet. All right. Um. Anything else we need to be doing, Alice? I'll just glance up the bell towers on the mission, and I'll just add of it. It's all the same to you. I'm a woman of science, and I've got religion I need here is the flask. Uh, that's right. I'm forgetting anything. Uh, anything else? Nope. All right, cool. That is going to do it for this episode. Let's go ahead and head up to the circus. We'll make this one slightly longer than normal. Uh, you rein your horse, and find hearing a rattle of bones and clank of your chains nearby. But there is a skeletal figure scuttled towards you. What the hell is that? It's uh, a little confusing to look at. Instead of a skull, it has another smaller skeleton growing out of the top of its spine. It also looks like a manacle locked around one of its angles, trailing a length of broken chain. Looks to have escaped from somewhere. I see it too. Don't worry about it. Um, uh, how, mu how much have I been drinking? Let's uh, ha Alice handle it? Uh, all right. Well, considering the anatomical structure of the thing, how the little skeleton is anchored to the first cervical vertebrae, the large skeleton, and so forth, I'd say that the most effective spot to hit it would be right about... There! Now, let's blast the skeleton with a shotgun at close range, obliterating everything from the sternum. Uh, yep, that did the trick. You got plus five spell damage. It's gonna have been comfortable. Alright. Nice job, Alice. Good work. Fucking weird. Well, this is a little weird. Didn't expect to find a circus all the way out here. There's basically nobody around for miles. There's a rodeo clown managing the ticket booth. Well, there hasn't actually been a rodeo since the cows came home, so I guess it's just a clown. Uh, clowns. Not a fan? They're so creepy. When I was little, my uncle would give me nightmares about those old stories about him. <laughs> those fairy tales. Demon clowns and demon cows fighting wars in hell. Right. And supposedly rodeo clowns dress up like that because the first rodeos were reenactments of those battles and it became a traditional thing. If you asked me 30 odd years ago, I'd have said you were nuts for even considering that might be real. These days, I'm not so sure. That fellow there is just a man of makeup with a crap job at a carnival. Yeah, I know. Still creeps me out though makes sense so that is going to do it for this episode though so thank you all so much for watching uh let's go ahead and level up a little bit here right before we uh kick out here let's go ahead and do that uh i kind of liked gore a lot it does a lot of damage doing it in the lines also super great uh we will bump that up also as well that is going to do it for this episode though so thank you all so much for watching if you guys like what you saw let me know if you guys want to see more definitely subscribe to keep up to date i want to post more videos if you really like what you saw leave a like helps the channel grow helps me out a great deal but of course with that thank you all so much for watching catch you guys in the next video bye